Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another digital marketing tip video. In this tip video, we're going to explore how to remove referral spam in your Google Analytics account. So if you're like me and you're constantly looking at analytics reports on ways to improve your website's performance, you've probably noticed a weird influx of web traffic from random referral sources that are garnering unusually high bounce rates and low time spent per session. This is usually the case of referral spam and it's annoying as it affects the rest of your site's data. There's a quick, simple fix, and this video will kind of show you how to do that in terms of excluding them from your Google Analytics uh, data. And then just to preface, uh, referral spam usually comes from spam bots or programs that are trapping your website, and those hits are recorded on your Google Analytics account. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to go under your acquisition tab in your Google Analytics account and go down to referrals and click that. And while it waits to load, we're going to take a look at the various referral URLs that have either a 0% uh, time spent on site or a 100% bounce rate. So if we're kind of scrolling down here, I got to change my data to be a little bit broader than this past week. And right here you'll see a couple of different sources. So, you know, best offer HGD, bitbucket.org, get more free eyes, visitors.info. And they're getting a few hits on the site, but then they all have 100% uh, bounce rates and zero times spent uh, as a session duration on the site. So after checking your referral traffic and writing down these URLs in like a Word document, we're going to go into our admin tab here. And there are a lot of different sources on the internet that advise you to go into your tracking info and add them to your referral exclusion list. You shouldn't do this. So with your referral exclusion list, this is primarily meant for um, excluding traffic from third-party shopping carts on e-commerce sites. So when a customer is redirected to that shopping cart and then comes back to the verification page on the main website, uh, using the referral exclusion list prevents them from being counted in a new session as a referral. You might assume that this would prevent that source of traffic from being counted in Google Analytics, but what Google Analytics does is connects the returning visit to the previous source in Medium. So it's not viewed as a referral or direct traffic, but rather the data is still skewed in Google Analytics as that referral traffic is assigned to a different medium or source. Um, the first step that we should do in terms of getting rid of these spam sites is excluding known bots and spiders. So we're gonna go back to the admin tab here. And we're gonna go under uh, the view settings and scroll down. And we're just gonna click this box that says bot filtering. So we're gonna exclude all hits from known bots and spiders. Now this works pretty well. And what they'll do is uh, it will exclude all hits from known bots and spiders on the Interactive Advertising Bureau's International Spiders and Bots list. But the only downside to using this option is that it doesn't exclude bots and spiders that aren't on this list. So we need to go and do other methods um, for the spam referral traffic that goes undetected. So instead of, uh, well, we're going to click this first, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to create a new filter for referral spam. So we're going to go into filters under the uh, view tab here in your admin panel. And then we're just going to add a new filter, right? And I'm going to show you the current one that I have going under my all filters. So once you click the add filter, it'll redirect you to a page that looks like this. And you can just type in the filter name and do whatever. And after that, what we're going to do is set the filter type to custom and then exclude uh, this button here and click that and set the filter field to be a campaign source. And for the filter pattern, um, what you're going to do is you're going to type in the URLs of your spam referrals. So you're not going to add like HTTPS or www. You're just going to add the domain itself and then the end, so .net.com. And we're going to add this uh, backslash 
to separate the period with net or com like I have here. And when you're adding multiple URLs, you're going to have to separate them with a uh, bracket of sorts or a, a separator. I don't know what this is exactly called, but once you do that, you're going to save your settings. And then what this does is that spam traffic is filtered from those specific sources by turning them into a regular expression for spam sites that need to be moved from Google Analytics. Just to give you preface, uh, it will take about 24 hours for this filter to take effect in Google Analytics. And let me show you what that did. So we have the views here. You have your all website data. And then you have a separate view for your referral spam. And that's where that all goes. So I've got to hit the home button here. It will show you that information. And unfortunately, though, by adding that new view or the new filter, it's not going to retroactively take out the hits that you already had via Google Analytics. It will remove all future hits. So just something to keep in mind there. And now what we can do is we can create a custom segment to further remove spam data from Google Analytics. And beyond adding uh, this filter, basically creating that custom segment um, will help to view your accurate metrics separate from the spam traffic too. And it, it's a little uh, temperamental, so to speak. But here is how you go about creating a custom segment. So if we go to our audience reporting view, and you can just click on the overview here. What you'll do is you will click on add segment and then you will uh, select new segment and again i already made one here for our purposes so i'm gonna just pop this open and edit that and you'll basically just name it whatever no spam uh, referral spam whatever is easiest to identify and you will select under the filter source and matches regex and then in this box, you will copy and paste the expression that we made in the previous uh, filter that we created. So you'll basically just copy and paste the URLs that you had added to previously filter that out. And you'll basically just save that. And then if we go back in, we can now compare the segments from no spam to uh, let's just say all users or whatever you want to compare it to and i'll kind of give you a step by step or a side by side comparison of what your filter traffic i'm sorry your spam traffic is compared to all of your traffic that's hitting your site and again it doesn't retroactively remove them so you'll have to wait for the filter to take effect before it starts counting and you're able to see that uh difference in hits and beyond doing this in google analytics uh, there are other ways to completely block referral spam through website coding efforts. I'm not going to dive into the technical aspect of deterring ghost spam through this method. Uh, it takes kind of some technical know-how and should be left to your website administrator as it can cause some serious issues if it's not performed correctly. And if you have a website on WordPress, you can download the Jetpack, Akismet, Anti-Spam, and WordPress plugins to block incoming spam on your site. They aren't foolproof, but they are effective in deterring some spam referral, I'm sorry, referral traffic trying to crawl your site. But that's basically how you go about uh, filtering that. And it's important that you are actively looking at your referral traffic to see what's incoming as spam, and then just update your filter accordingly based on what's getting fed through. I hope you found this uh, tip video to be helpful. If you haven't already, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. And I will see you for the next tip video in digital marketing.